um today we'll discuss about uh, this power bi goals it's almost one year back they introduced this feature it's actually mainly useful we can track the goals with the level of uh, complete organizations or uh, by a unit or by a department or anything so the main purpose to of the goals is goals in power bi led customer that's a definition uh, which curate their metrics and track them against key business objectives in a single pen so this feature enhances data culture by promoting accountability alignment and visibility for teams and initiatives within organizations so this is actually an important thing um, you can use this functions as we are developing all the reports in power bi and we have the data with us so we can based on the data we can set the goals and targets and also we can track the progress how it goes further there are certain limitations are there so first we'll discuss about that and then we'll go through how it can be done so first of all it's about the license requirement so the first thing is we need to have at least a premium per user or a premium capacity license so the pro license which we have uh, if we have then it will not work in this case so the first thing is uh, we need to have power bi premium workspace so if you don't have a premium workspace you cannot create a scorecard as simple as that the prerequisite is first thing is you had to have a pro license pro license is because you need to create the scorecards and where you need to store you need to store it on a premium capacity either it has to be capacity or premium per user license and you also need a permission to the workspace as an admin member or contributor the viewer access will not have access to these goals permissions when it comes to the license requirement first of all for authoring scorecard goals and performing check ins you need a power bi pro license uh, for viewing scorecards and everything uh, it can be power bi premium per capacity or it can be free user or it can be a power bi pro license just to view this report uh, for viewing the sample scorecards anybody can view that this is a dummy template a kind of thing they have given as a free sample um just to look into what and how it can be done okay now moving on to the next thing is actually there are certain limitations are there like uh, we are not able to bring your own key that's a feature if you want to make any kind of uh, additional security that is not possible here the default which comes from microsoft that is possible here and the role level security is also not supported as of now because this is, feature is still in preview this is not generally available to everybody uh is not completely rolled out so there are still enhancing this product maybe in the upcoming 3 or 4 months they will do their further changes and also about the publish to web this feature is also not available uh if you are using it in your own application that is also not supported as of now and if you want to share this report with others like one business to another business that is also not supported as of now and the multi geo capacity is actually if you want to relocate this power bi scorecards so into different location as this is backed by premium capacity that is also not supported by default it will create in your own main tenant if it is in india then it will be created in india itself um so we can create multiple goals there is no limitation for that for each main goal we can create up to a maximum of four sub goals so that's the limitations we have okay so now what we look into it is basically what are the steps we need to do in order to create a scorecard so first of all we need to create the scorecards by creating a scorecard that's we need to give it a name and then we need to create goals there are two kinds of goals which we can create here one is a manual goal and one is a connected goal so manual goal is nothing but you are defining a certain uh, value and certain target and you need to key it manually if because there are certain cases where you may not able to fetch the data from the source and connect into power bi instead of that you have something like manual record so if you want to update those thing also as a goal you can do that but it has to be a manual process and for this also you need access as an contributor member or admin role and now when it's come to the connected role uh, connected goals is actually is connected to your existing power bi data sets so whatever report you have done so far 
so based on that you can create goals actually that's actually a really good thing we can do that so inside to the connected goals we have two things one is the categorical data another is the time series of data so categorical data is nothing but uh, if you take an example of a visual um, then we have visuals level legend level data point and axis level right so if you take a let, let's take an example of this one so this is an example of uh, complete visual right and what are the we have visual level legend level so here if you see the product category is actually the legend and uh, data point is the one which we have it here like percentage and also about the axis value is about the x axis and y axis value so all these things we can filter and create separate separate goals based on that and uh, there are still it has a certain limitations here so when it comes to categorical data the visual measure is calculated at the aggregated level so the final summary of the value it will show up on the goal as uh, the actual value and the legend is also measured is filtered to the selected legend so this will be understandable to you when we go into actual real demo uh, the next we have it here is the time series of data and for time series of everything like it's also the same like it has a visual legend data point axis value everything the measure is calculated at the last data point in the time series and history is pulled in so basically uh, whenever we refresh a data in power bi this automated one that is the connected goals is automatically updated into power bi goals itself so even though we are not able to store the history of the data in power bi data set because whenever we refresh a data on a daily basis for an example the data the data gets more rate in power bi data set right but here if you link this to the goals as a connected goals then power bi itself will take the snapshot of each and every day each and every refresh whatever you do as you are in order to keep a track on everything how these goals has in process from last one year last one month or whatever the timing period which you are setting up here that's actually a good point um, the next thing which it has is then optional steps so we can create sub goals if you want and we can update the goals tracking cycles like how frequently we need to update the goals and also we can share this scorecard to other users now to edit this scorecard and goals they need at least an admin member or contributor role in the workspace so your recipient need power bi pro premium per user license unless contract in a power bi premium per capacity so this is the least requirement it means uh, we at least need to power bi premium per user license okay so now moving on to the next is so there are again certain limitations are here because of they are still in preview um is basically when it comes to this one if you have if you are using this chart right the clustered uh, column chart then the power bi will pull in the measure value rather than the percentage so to not pull the value here it will just uh, it will pull the value not the percentage from it and if you are using this multi row kpi card visuals then the power bi will pull in the first measure not the entire card it will not it will just take the first one and if you are using a kpi or a gauge visual then power bi will pull in the value but not the target or the minimum or maximum value in the gauge it will just pull in the value not the target and minimum maximum value and if you are just using a table with more than one column of measure power bi selects the first measure in the row so those are the few limitations are there um now when it comes to this one the roles uh, inside the goals the workspace level goals is different and the power bi goals level roles is different so here we have two roles one is view and update uh in view is generally applicable to everyone we can give access they can just view the goals and how it performs but when it comes to update uh, there are three options is there one is the note if you want to add any kind of comment to that existing data point we can add that into that and it will be stored in the power bi itself and uh, if you want to update any status and also if you want to update the current value we can also do that with that permission and the support of automatic roles based on goal level permission full role level security support is coming soon but it is not available so far and 
now we can also set the rules to change the status of the goals manually so the advanced option what we have here is actually uh, there are we can connect your goals into power automate in order to automate our each and every task here like if you want to take any actions like if you want to create a goal if you want to create a check-ins add a node and create a scorecard update check-ins and everything can be done using power automate and also when there is a change in the value if you want to alert to someone else or send an email based on that also it is possible using power automate and everything not only that uh, whatever we have a scorecard if you are not satisfied with the layout and if you want to build your own report with your existing data then also we can connect the existing data set of the goals into power bi and build our own dashboard for ourselves so that's all about this theory actually